I'd like to welcome our next panelist, who is the Director of Operations and co-founder of Exceptional Minds, a nonprofit vocational school and studio for young adults with autism. She's the mother of Noah, a 20-year-old artist who is on the autism spectrum. She spent 30 years working in film production and is an award-winning member of the Directors Guild of America and the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. She is one of the founders of Except she is one of the founders of Exceptional Minds and believes that all individuals with and without special needs should be able to have meaningful careers and purposeful lives. She is honored to be a part of this panel. Please welcome Ms. Yudi Bennett. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Uh, and uh, as Michael was speaking, I, I thought, this is great. Think positive. I'm going to carry this everywhere I go. And then I realized I have something else I carry everywhere I go. It's my keys. And on my key ring, on one side it says, imagine, and on the other side it says, create. And I've had this with me for probably 20 years. And I think it defines my life, and I think it's a lesson for all of us. Imagine and create and think positive. So I am the co-founder and director of Exceptional Minds. We're a school and working studio for young adults on the autism spectrum who want careers in digital animation and visual effects. Our vision is to create a world in which all individuals are recognized for their talents and abilities and can achieve their full potential. But I have another more important job. Wait a second, I have my visual aids here. I am Noah's mom. There's Noah. Uh, I'm Noah's mom, and Noah just turned 21. He is both autistic and artistic. Maybe the other way around, artistic and autistic. Uh, he's a digital artist, he's a painter. His email address, as a matter of fact, is Noah the artist. And Noah's the inspiration behind Exceptional Minds. Uh, he is a kid who had a hard time in school, struggled academically, wasn't on the diploma track, had language processing problems. Uh, by the time he was in middle school, he just plateaued, and I was totally panicked. Fortunately, we're a community where people help each other. And another mom suggested that I enroll him in a media, uh, a multimedia after-school program. And uh, I enrolled Noah, and all of a sudden, a light bulb went on. He, learned, he not only learned animation, he started entering film uh, competitions, and he started winning film competitions. And his schoolwork improved. He ultimately did graduate with a diploma. So when he, when he finished high school, I started looking around for programs for Noah, and there was nothing out there, almost nothing out there. Our kids finish high school and fall off a cliff. It's like everyone forgot that they were going to grow up. Well, they have grown up, and for, for me, this was the moment when the light bulb went on for me, um, and I realized that if something doesn't exist, we have to create it. That's why I've got to create over here. Uh, we opened Exceptional Minds in 2011. We're the first and only vocational school of this kind that prepares young adults for work in the visual effects uh, industry. And the reason I want to talk about it today, I mean, for some of you, this look, uh, the school, the subject will be interesting, for some less so, but I think we've created a model uh, that works for our students and can work for a lot of other people. And uh, I'm just a mom. I saw a need, I went out, I found other people who saw the same need, and created it. I know there are lots of moms and dads out here. You guys can do the same thing. Remember, create. So what's unique about Exceptional Minds? What's unique about our program is it's our admission. We are all about jobs, jobs, jobs. It's currently estimated that 90% of young adults with autism are unemployed or underemployed. This, to me, is unacceptable. 50,000 kids with autism turn 18 every year. They're doomed to lives of isolation, low self-esteem, dependence on government assistance, depression, all the things that come with, with unemployment or underemployment. Uh, this to me is a crisis. We need to, to take action. Uh, Temple Grandin, in her book, Developing Talents, writes, without work, no matter how big or how small, life would become small and unsatisfying for me. And I think that's true with most people. It's certainly true of me. Uh, work provides more than just a paycheck. It provides my self-esteem. It provides structure. It provides community, friendships, um, a lot more than just a paycheck. For our kids, it's the same thing for our young adults. 
Uh, at Exceptional Minds, we teach both technical and soft skills to enable our grads to get jobs and retain jobs. Uh, our teachers are artists and industry professionals who have high expectations of our students. And our faculty includes several, um, uh, several teachers who are on the spectrum themselves. What we teach, this will mean something to some of you and not all of you, but we teach visual effects cleanup, we teach rig removals, rotoscoping, and credit rolls animation. Now, I don't know, does, do any of you know how to rotoscope? Anybody out there know how to rotoscope? Okay, the truth is, I don't know how to rotoscope. I know what it is, but I don't know how to do it. But every day I walk into a studio, and wait a second, I've got another visual aid here. I walk into a studio and I see young adults who do know how to rotoscope. And this is a viable job. They, they, when they get out into the industry, these are jobs that pay $25, $30, $35 an hour. These are real jobs, real careers. Uh, currently, 80% of our graduates are working in the field of their choice, either in outside facilities or we also run our own studio. Recently, they worked on Avengers, Age of Ultron, they worked on Ant-Man, Game of Thrones, Spongebob, I'm not supposed to say it, but they actually worked on the new Hunger Games movie that's coming out in a few weeks. And, um, what else, oh, Alvin the Chipmunk, and then there's a few more, again, I'm just warned to secrecy, a few I can't say. Uh, last week, um, Sesame Street, you guys are aware Sesame Street uh, launched an autism initiative, um, See Amazing in All Children. Uh, we were part of that initiative. If you go on their website and look at Benny's Story, Benny's Story was created 100% by the students and graduates at Exceptional Minds. Uh, it's a huge, like I say, it's a huge thrill not only to walk through the studio and see our kids doing meaningful employment, doing employment of their choosing. Not something somebody else told them they had to do, but employment they have chosen. And it's even a greater thrill when every two weeks I see them all get their paychecks. Uh, we, our business has been so good. I mean, we've, we've actually exceeded our own expectations. We have 100% repeat business from our clients because they've been so satisfied by the work that these young adults have done. We've also, in our program, seen huge behavioral shifts. We see kids who come in with low self-esteem. They end up with improved work habits, more independent. Um, we've got lots of visitors that come in. By the way, you're all welcome to come and visit us. We encourage visitors. We want our, our uh, students to interact with the general population, with uh, people from the uh, film industry. Anyway, we have lots of visitors that come in. And at least once a week, somebody comes over to me and says, which ones have autism? I laugh, and of course, they all do. But it's, it's, it is my favorite question. Currently, three of our graduates are working in outside studios. They've also moved out of their parents' homes. They live in their own apartments. My son still lives at home, but there is hope. They live in their own apartments. We have one graduate that was, uh, three weeks ago, we placed a graduate full-time at Marvel Studios. Uh, he is, again, see all the guys we place outside are making a living wage, enough to have their own apartments, they are off government assistance. Uh, we provide job coaching for our graduates. We track their career progress. And again, uh, you know, we've exceeded our own expectations with this our fifth year. And uh, our studio is flourishing, and our guys are getting jobs. So what is the big picture? Why am I talking about exceptional minds? Because I want to share what we've learned on our journey. Okay? What we have learned is don't underestimate these young adults. One of my biggest problems is that parents come in with low expectations. Parents not have low expectations. These guys are great. These guys, you know, the sky is the limit. And, and we've seen this again. How many know how to rotoscope? You guys don't know how to rotoscope. I don't know how to do it. These guys are learning complex computer programs and doing the work well. Our clients are happy. They're, they're, uh, our kids are successful. Um, we've learned that it's all about ability, not disability. Find the strengths. It doesn't, if your kid, this, this is a field, this, I, I work in a very specific field, it's the movie industry, it's visual effects, it's animation, but there are lots of fields out there. It's finding what your kids are good at. What are they good at and what do they want to do? Okay, they need to, this is about choice, what do they want to do? As parents, we need to keep the bar high, we need to provide support, but not too much support. 
and we need to think outside the box. That's why I brought my key ring up here, because it's imagine and create. We need to think outside the box. We think our, our program's great, but it's not for everybody. We think there's room for other people to create programs like this. Think outside the box, start new programs. Again, I'm just a mom who started a program. You guys can do this too. Um, understand the person's skills. I speak to, I shouldn't leave out professionals, professionals and parents. Understand the person's skills. Find the right job. Create opportunity. Don't just put somebody in a job because it's available. You know, when people do what they love, they're focused and they're motivated. If you have a job you love, you never work a day in your life. That is, I've been fortunate in my life that way. You know what? I want my kid to have that. I want Noah to be able to fulfill his dreams. Not my dreams, not somebody else's dreams. His own dreams. Our young adults make great employees. They're reliable. They don't waste time. They're honest. They're focused. These guys are great. It is an honor for me to go to work with them every day. So in conclusion, I want to say, I have Temple Grandin quote, my favorite Temple Grandin quote, and I do have a visual that goes with this, if I can find it. Um, bear with me one second. Here it is. Okay. This is my son having lunch with Temple Grandin. He pulled out his portfolio. She was talking about how you have to have your work with you. Um, as uh, Michael pointed out, she sold herself not on her great social skills, but on the fact that she had a great portfolio. So she was at a conference talking about you have to have your portfolio with you. And my son pulled out his iPad and said, here, I've got my portfolio. So she sat down. Not only she sat down with him, she took him to lunch. She ignored me, and she took my son to lunch. And that is the two of Sorry, I'm waving it around, but that's the two of them. And the quote I want to share with you is the following. People with autism can learn and succeed when others around them believe in their abilities and hold high expectations of them. Keep the bar high. Thank you. <laughs>